Today's episode of Chicago Bears Now is presented by Fetch Rewards. Go download the app today at chatsports.com slash fetch. Fetch is an app that allows you to earn points when you scan your receipts. Once you build up enough points, you can cash those in for gift cards. Once again, get started today, chatsports.com slash fetch. All right, let's get into today's Bears Rumors Roundup and then a couple of minor news items at the end of the show. David Montgomery, is he going to sign a contract extension? I'll go two smoking Jays. People are talking. I think it's 50-50 that the Bears will sign him to an extension this offseason. Brad Spielberger of Pro Football Focus, who's kind of a salary cap expert, kind of explored this one here. Montgomery is eligible for a contract extension as he's set to enter the final year of his four-year rookie contract. So now, if Spielberger says a new deal could be in the 10 to $12 million per year range. That's a little high for me. I'll give more thoughts on that in a second. I think the key here is, it's kind of unclear, or I'd say it's very unclear, how Ryan Poles views David Montgomery. If he thinks he's a long-term piece or not, he very well could just run him into the ground this year and then let him walk, or maybe you franchise tag him once, and then you let him walk as well. Here's what Spielberger had to say, quote, We know he's a great locker room guy. He would eat glass if Ryan Poles asked him to eat glass. All of those things when you are trying to establish a culture and trying to get a locker room to buy in, those reasons and rationales aren't always smart, but I really do. I think he's going to get extended. I think it'll fall in the 10 to $12 million per year range, maybe even more frankly how it ages probably won't be great but I do think that it is a strong possibility I'm going to give him some thoughts on uh, that type of contract structure there but first I'll ask you would you give David Montgomery 10 or more million dollars per year on a contract extension type Y for yes type in for no let me know what you guys think down in the comments my take is, man, I could probably give him around 10 per year, maybe three-year, $30 million extension for Montgomery, but 12 a year, maybe even more, Spielberger believes, that's too much for me for a running back in today's age. And I love David Montgomery. I do value uh, what he brings beyond just his on-field production, which has been pretty solid in a bad offense and behind a bad offensive line where he's got, you know, almost 3,000 rushing yards in three seasons. You know, the yards per carry at times hasn't been great, but uh, again, I think a lot of that's the O-line. He has uh, been at or near the top of the NFL year in and year out and broken tackles. But uh, the point still remains. I mean... We know how this goes. Running backs in today's NFL, they're expendable. I think David Montgomery's a better running back than Khalil Herbert. But if he, David Montgomery's making $12 million a year and Khalil Herbert's making less than two, I'll take Khalil Herbert. I, I you know, I'll, I'd give Monty nine or ten a year. I got no problem doing that. But you, you're talking good twelve, thirteen million dollars per year for a running back. You've got other needs. Uh, I'd rather play this year out, see how it goes, and then revisit this this off season. We'll see what happens again. Let us know if you would give him more than ten million per season. Okay, subscribe to the channel. We are almost there, almost at forty three thousand subscribers, less than one hundred and twenty five away. Help us get there. Free videos on the daily here on Bears Now by Chat sports hit that big red button and subscribe we promise to continue to update you guys in the latest bears news and rumors and hey free agency starts in just about two and a half weeks so subscribe don't miss any of it as we get closer and closer next up on our bears rumors roundup how about signing teron armstead in free agency i'm just gonna throw one smoking jay at this one uh, there's some truth it's barely true uh you know the put on words there but i don't think it's very likely the draft network explored the idea of this. Uh, now, I will say this. Armstead is the best offensive tackle on the market this year. Elite player, but, and the butt is a big one, and uh, hey, you know, big butts, but uh, he has injury issues. Let's just, uh, let's just put that out there. We'll kind of detail uh, how bad those have been uh, here in a little bit, but uh, when you have a guy with, you know, injury history, especially to the knee, it's a little risky, you know. Is Ryan Poles going to make a statement in his first offseason uh, by signing a Toronto Armstead to a $100 million contract? Because that's been rumored what he wants, five years on $100 million. I don't know, man. That's, that's a bit risky for me and a little rich. Uh, we'll explore this a little bit more in just a moment. But signing Toronto Armstead, definitely some risk involved. Something that's not risky at all, considering it's free, is the Fetch Rewards app. This app is awesome because all you do is uh, you get your pile of receipts, you open the Fetch Rewards app after after you download it at chatsports.com slash fetch and you start scanning them you scan those receipts it's really easy you get the three green lines that pop up on there once they scan the information that they need and you get points 
for scanning those receipts. And a lot of you guys are like, well, what are, you, what are the points for? You know, is it some game on your phone? No, 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 no. You get to build points and then use those points to get gift cards. Say, once you get 10,000 points, you can get a $10 gift card from Amazon or Starbucks or whatsoever. And you're seeing in this demonstration that you can use uh, you can scan multiple receipts at one time. So go check it out today, chatsports.com slash fetch. Promo code BEARS gets you 3,000 bonus points with the Fetch Rewards app. Okay, you look at Teron Armstead's uh, durability issues. 2016, missed nine games with a knee injury. 2017, missed six games with a torn labrum. 2018, pec injury, missed six more games. 19 and 20, he was pretty healthy. He played in 14 games one year, 15 games the next. Uh, and then, But this last year, misses nine of 17 games with another knee issue. I just... I don't know, man. I mean, you're talking about a guy who's missed 30 games over four different seasons there over the last six years. I don't know. I don't know if I'm giving that guy $100 million. I, 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 if I knew he would play 85% of games, I would do it because he's that good. You plug him in at left tackle. You move Tevin Jenkins to right tackle. But there's a chance he's going to miss half a season. You know, I just – it's a lot. And Ryan Poles, uh, you know, his quote really stood out to me when he said, we're going to be selective in free agency. I don't know if paying Armstead $100 million is being selective. If it happens, you know, I'll probably get on board because he's a good player, but just know that he has a pretty significant injury history. What do you guys think? Should the Bears sign Teron Armstead? Type S for sign him. Type E for nice, too expensive. I'm probably going to go with E. Now, could you get him for like two years and $40 million? I would do $20 million a year on a shorter deal, but I'm not doing five for 100 Let me know what you guys think. S for sign or E for too expensive. Let's talk about another offensive lineman here on today's Bears Rumors show. How about trading for Andre Dillard? I'm also just going to throw one smoking J at this one because, again, we've talked about this with trades for the Bears if they want to trade for other players. It, you know, they just lack draft capital. No first-round pick, as we've discussed. Not that you would trade a first for Dillard, but when you only have five picks, you got to be selective on how you want to use them. Uh, Bleacher Report released an article of ideal offseason trades for all 32 teams. They named the Bears as a team uh, to trade for Dillard. Uh, you know, he's a good player, fared well when he started last year. He was a part-time starter uh, when uh, their left tackle went, uh, went down, played well, gave up one sack and like 350 snaps, so that's pretty good. Uh, has been a starter at times in the past as well. He's kind of the odd man out at the tackle position in Philadelphia. But, again, you don't have a first-round pick. You have a second and third. I'm not trading a day-two pick for Andre Dillard. I'm not doing it. Like, you know, I just – unless you feel strong conviction – that he's a five- to seven-year starting tackle, then I'm not trading a second- or third-round pick because then I only have one day-two pick left, and that's after not having a first-round pick. So I'm just probably not going to go that route. If he was that good, he'd be starting for the Eagles full-time. Now, he would certainly help. You could kick Tevin Jenkins over to right tackle, like we mentioned with Teron Armstead, uh, and then maybe you put Larry Borum at right guard. But at the end of the day, I I'm just I'm not going to – I'm not going to trade a second or a third round pick for Dillard, and I think that's probably what the Eagles would want. They would probably want a third. Maybe they would take a fourth. Well, guess what? The Bears don't have a fourth either. So, you know, I fully expect uh, Ryan Poles uh, to be proactive in improving this offensive line, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm probably not going to do it. All right, some news items before we sign off here. The Bears have uh, hired uh, Matt Feinstein as a director of football uh, administration. Some more front office members for Ryan Poles. And then speaking of Ryan P, Ryan Pace, congratulations. He lands with the Falcons as a senior personnel executive uh, moving forward. So, you know, he lands somewhere. I expected him to land somewhere. We'll see if Matt Nagy has similar luck on landing another job as well. All right, that's all for today's show. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll continue to have you guys covered with daily videos on the Chicago Bears news, rumors, and other items as well. Appreciate you guys very, very much. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon here on Bears Now.